Welcome guys, I'm Yu here and this is a fourth video in a series about functional programming in JavaScript. And right now we are about to explore uh, carried functions in depth. So carrying is a technique that is used to uh, effectively manage function inputs. And we have already been using that in our previous examples. So let's uh, jump into the code editor. Uh, I'm going to be using a JSBin and uh, let's uh, create some examples here and uh, talk about carrying. So let's take you know a very simple function from Rem.js. I have already included it in my code. Um, and uh, let's you know let's take this function. It is called uh, prop. You know we are passing the you know this is a function that will get a given property from given object and uh, it has uh, unique properties that we can specify arguments one at a time. Let's say I want to take a name from object, which is name property. And let's log this. And of course, it's going to take the name. Now, uh, as we've seen already, we can, you know, specify only name. And uh, it will generate the functions. The result of this call will be a function, and we can call it get name. And uh, that's good. You know, then uh, then we can reuse this function in other places, and uh, we can uh, specify this last argument at a later time, and it is more flexible. So even though the underlying logic for get name is the same as for prop, we have generated it from already existing function. And um, let's try that as well. Uh, run again. And of course, it is working. So now, uh, this library is very useful, Rem.js, but we might want to create our own carried functions and we want to maybe uh, manage its inputs effectively. So let's take a very simple example. Let's create add function. It will just take two numbers, let's say A and B, and return as the um, sum. So the result of addition of A and B. And that's it, you know. Now let's uh, log this, you know, let's check that it is working as expected. Uh, and yeah, it, it, it's working, it is fine. But now, uh, by default, JavaScript functions aren't carried. So if I specify this, you know, if I only specify a single argument here and run this code, I'm getting the none. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's not carried. But how can we make this a carried function so we can specify these arguments, you know, these parameters one at a time? There is a special function in Ramda.js library and uh, this function is called carry so we can write carry and then pass in our function so the result of this call will be uh, the new function which is uh, our function but it will be carried so right now if i run this code instead of none i will get the function and of course you know this is you know a new function and right now, I can generate, you know, I can uh, call this function add3 and uh, generate it like this. So now I can use add3 to add3 to any number I want. And that's it. You know, uh, it's very simple. So with this function, we can create our own carried functions. Now, why this is useful, as we have seen in previous examples, it's very useful to generate new functions using already existing functions. And if we create our own carried functions that contain some maybe some complex logic, then we can manage its inputs effectively and generate new functions and specify these uh, inputs at the later times of execution. So it's very flexible and it makes our function more usable. Now there is, you know, what when we are using this curry, this function, curry function, uh, the generated function, the new generated function, uh, has uh, another unique property. Uh, let's uh, also check that it is working for, um, if I specify both 
arguments, both parameters, and of course it is working. Now let's explore another property that uh, you know carried function has that this generated carried function has. Let's create another function, and uh, even though this function is already in the library, it's good to demonstrate the point. Let's create greater than. And it will be a very simple function, it will be a carried function, and I can specify, uh, I can uh, pass in a and b, and it will return the true if a is greater than b. Just it, you know, very simple logic. So let's test our function. Let's uh, test our function and uh, pass in, let's say, 3 and 5. This false, let's say seven and five, it is true, and that's working perfectly fine. And of course, we can specify a uh, single argument, A, and generate new function, as we have done in this case, because, well, it is a carried function already. But it also has a quite unique property. What if, what if when I'm using this function, uh, I want to specify the second argument, uh, that has to go in place of B uh, and uh, I want to you know uh, skip this first argument so in this case with add 3 we have specified the first argument and at a later time we specified the other argument and it executed its logic but what if I want you know to ignore the order and maybe I want to specify in this case B and uh, I want to skip this, I want to skip A. Is there a way we can do this? And actually it is, there is a very special function in uh, Ramda library, in Ramda.js, um, and we can use this two underscores, it's kind of a placeholder, and it is indicating that, okay, we want to skip this argument and let's specify three. So let's call this function greater than three, and now if I pass in, you know, I, I can use this function and I can check if the number is greater than three. It is true. If I specify two, it's false, three, it's false. And it is working as expected. So what happened here, you know, what's, what's this, you know, underscore function, what it's doing. So if we translate this into plain English, we are saying that, you know, okay, Let's generate a new function, but let's skip this first argument here. I don't want to specify this right now, but instead I want to specify our second argument. It is uh, three and generate this uh, new function uh, with given logic. So, and uh, you know, in the end we receive the function that will return true whenever uh, something is greater than three. And that's really it, you know, when we uh, create our carried function with this carry function from Ramda.js library, our new generated function has two unique properties. We can specify arguments one at a time, and also we can use this placeholder function from Ramda.js to ignore the order of the arguments and maybe specify the arguments that are coming after, you know, first or second or third, you know, no matter what. So we can use this technique occurring to, you know, really achieve greater levels of reusability for our own functions. And uh, we can use then our function with, let's say, pipe function or prop function and so on. So this is a very useful technique. And this is something that I personally use very often when working on uh, different applications. So uh, that's it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, click the like button, subscribe and uh, share it with your friends.